made a great difference, I've got to say. And, and I don't want to lose you. What's going through your mind? What are you thinking? You see, I, I, I don't know. Are we going to, you know, reach the goal that we were aiming for with, with, with everything that we've we've worked on together? I mean, it just seems like Jeff is just so powerful that you know he, he's so controlling over everything, and you know I just feel that, you know, sometimes we 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 losing we losing the track of everything. What's the plan then? Bill and I, we, we met maybe a couple of weeks ago, so we were together not so long, but... So you've really fallen for him, yeah? We have, yeah. And, you Must know, be something. I, I hope so, because we're planning on going on a long holiday together and... and really? Where? Just seeing what happens. I mean, we, we're planning a big trip. It's, it's still on paper, but we're not too sure. Okay, come with me. Look, I'm just going to the post office, so, um, yeah. Um, look, I, I can't let you go now. I'm in the middle of this, publishing, hopefully getting this book published. See, I sometimes feel that, you know, I'm just being used, or I just feel that my private life at the moment is, is more important than... What have you found out about Jose? Well, um, nothing much actually. He's quite decent guy, but unfortunately, his exam didn't come back. Medical exam didn't come back right. I think he doesn't have long to live. Well, that's bad luck, but in a way, um, that's going to uh, help help my cause. I don't know. Yeah, that that one thing. From my understanding, from Jose, I think he's seeking overseas residency kind of things to the back of his health. So that would be a win-win situation. And is he going to take his wife with him? Oh, to be honest with you, Jeff, I'm not sure. They've both been um, pretty interfering, her as well as uh, Jose, uh, especially living next door to Purple Grove. I would have preferred to hear it from you than read it on a piece of paper. You've been diagnosed with this disease. Why didn't you tell me? I couldn't bring myself to tell you this because it's, as you read, pretty serious. And I have no problems with that. It. It's something that I have accepted. The disease, yeah, it came about. Nothing that can be done here in Australia. So I got myself a ticket. And I'm going to go somewhere where I think I can get some treatment. What? Why? What do you mean? going away. That's the only solution. There's nothing here else for me that will help me with this disease. It, it, it's just, it's time for me to handle this by myself. that battle. Yeah, I know. But, yeah, um, well done. Yeah. But don't, uh, don't just rest there. Mm. There's going to be even a bigger one in Camel Bright, yeah? yeah. Um, maybe Elvira be an ally. That's a great idea. I think she'd be a great help. Yep. It's possible, but we'll have to see. Now she's moved back to Purple Grove, uh, we'll see. We'll see how we go. And no, great to see the demolitions happen so quickly. Oh, look, it's it amazing. Is. It is, it is. It's just really great. But 
we now got to think about something else. Yeah, so so what are the plans? What are the ideas? Yeah, you know, how are we going to uh, construct this? And you know, you've also got an architectural background, so yep. I can help you in that area. Well, we, we need to fine tune the details. Now. Yeah, sure, sure. Because I want to use your expertise mm -hmm. to oh, work great. this out. That's fantastic. Glad to be on board. Excellent. Well done. Well done to us all. David has done a good job with the uh, plantation. He certainly has. Um, now with Penelope's book, you know, I would have thought that she would have um, written about her life, celebrated celebration of her life and maybe some of her love affairs. So I, I wouldn't have thought there was too much damage in the book. Oh, I'm concerned there there is. I'm concerned that uh, it could tear people apart. I think uh, a lot of innuendo, I think it's a very big responsibility. Why, why would she do that? I, I wouldn't have thought she would do that, write about that. I suppose all families have their, you know, their, their secrets and their things that go on and uh, what family is normal, but, you know, in certain mm. cases, a lot happened in our family. You were um, on bad terms with her? Well, yes. We weren't on the best of terms. It was over relationships. I hadn't uh, gone to South Africa. Um, you know, things would have been different. I know there were financial problems with Parkinson House. If I hadn't gone, perhaps I would have been still the owner and at the head of it. But you chipped in and uh, good on you. You looked after it and it's okay now. But why would you want to dredge up stuff that might cause Deb and Sebastian more grief? They've lost their mother. Too much has happened. Now, is it that you want to go back to the penthouse? Do you think that's what's in your mind? What? Are you trying to threaten me? Now that I'm with David, I'm in a much better position. And, um, you know, I, I just don't like the way you're threatening me and Jeff. You know, I, I think together, both David and myself, we can, you know, get rid of you. You think? Okay. Yes. So, so don't intimidate me. Oh, not my intention. You know, I, I was starting to like you and, and I thought you, you know, you're a nice person, but if you're going to start to threaten me, you know, just see where that goes to. Well, that was lovely to see Tina in her shop. Yes, well, I hope she does well with all that fancy gear. Yeah, back in Melbourne. It's costly, eh? Back in Melbourne, fancy that. Um, I guess you, I mean, I, I didn't know you have an apartment here. Well, it's very handy because I've got Tina here and I, it enables me to visit my, grand, my grandson Chris somewhat more regularly. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, I guess it was important for me to first go to the, to the Lays house, then now to Melbourne, and to find out that you gave opportunity to Sharon, my big Shaza, before she passed away, to spend some time there at the Lays house and here. You never told me that. I have to find out now. Sharon always had a set of keys to this apartment. She can come and go as she wishes. She doesn't have to report her movements to me, so I probably can't give you too much clarification. It's like you were always secretly in love with her. You know? I don't know where you get that idea from. Well, I know she was your always, or you were for her, a first man, you know, when she was only 17. She met you at the ball. Is he the one who was behind the scene, manipulated everyone? Of course, he was the most manipulated bastard in the world. Why would he have done that? You know, try and get rid of Sharon. Well, you know what? He was always after the. Everything for him was to spite me, and he always wanted to get that cottage away from me. And he, you know, that's why he got to kill Sharon. So the police said he committed suicide. I'm going to ask you something, Hank, and ask you once. 
You know, but are you prepared to, to sacrifice your life again to work on an Why this not? project? Why not? What else am I going to do with my time? Sit, sit, sit down and knit. How is your mother going? The doctors are very pessimistic. She won't ever come out of a coma. Oh, that's so, depressing, isn't it? Yeah, I don't know what will happen. And I was planning to go back to the New England Hotel in Paris. You know how I feel about it, Olivia? Yes. And I have thought about it. Right. And it doesn't add up. I don't know if she did actually do what they've accused her of doing. But I'm thinking more about Matilda. And travelling around the world. It's not good. With a little girl, no education. Well, she's getting education because I get, I chew her with a nanny. But um, I'm thinking about settling down, and I'm thinking about doing it in Australia. Right. smile on your face, must be good. I'm pregnant. Oh, I'm pregnant! <laughs> oh well, I think that, uh, and I know I have helped Olivia to have a better lifestyle and still believe that she's innocent. I know deep down you do too. I promise. Well, I feel a lot better having this little chat. I'm sure we'll so, have many more. We'll talk soon, David. Bye-bye. Well, JJ, I'm glad I did have an investigation on you two. Parental, it's always just scary. You're a bit scared, dear. You're a bit wide around the gills. Yes. Thunderstorm scared the hell out of me. Oh, dear, why? You know, all you've had in your life, you wouldn't think a thunderstorm would scare you. All oh, you've had, dear. You've had more thunder than I know, dear, in your life. <laughs> I sure did. All those men you've had, dear. <laughs> well, now that I'm back, don't sell the house. Well, you sure are back, dear. Larger than life. Yeah. And vigorous as ever. Well, we have to start thinking of, um, you know, going ahead with uh, building the house for Tina. Um, oh, well, dear, I'll give you a shovel. Yeah. And then get out and dig the trenches. You'd be good at that. God, that was good. I've still got it in me. Mm-hmm. Pretty awesome. Oh, yeah. yeah. I didn't know that older men uh, were so good. They are. They can still do it until they're naughty. <laughs> I'm home. Hi. What are you doing? I'm just having a look at all your old records. Yes, did you find Dusty Springfield in there? Uh, I'm not quite sure what I'm finding right now. Well, maybe your ashes. There's several. <laughs> I just thought that I would uh, buy this for you, which is very special. It's been in the family for a million years, you know. Wow. It's, it's Ming Dynasty, so just be very careful of it. I will. And what's this mm. for? This is for the happiness that you brought to me for having a baby. Really? Because I didn't think that I would fall in love with anybody again as I fall in love with you. Oh, thank you. You're telling me that you got Melanie pregnant? I believe so. That is... Nothing good can come from this relationship. It's destructive. This is absolutely the last thing I could have ever imagined you would say to me. I've got blood tests happening at the moment to see whether that's true. Well, you better have blood tests because I wouldn't be surprised if it wasn't your baby. <laughs> Yes, Doctor. It's David Merkenhoff here. Just uh, waiting for the blood test results. So the blood tests indicate that uh, I'm not the father. Bitch. 
well, we're laughing, but um, the bitch, she flew to the States. Um, she's a tramp, you're right, and she's going to do anything she can to destroy us. So we need to put an end to this now. I told you she was no good. From yes. laughter to tears, that's what you do to me always. But don't Bloody forget, hell. you forget very easily that I have connections everywhere. And I, they will know when she lands in the States. Good. We'll be so caught up in litigation that I'm afraid that we don't have a chance in hell. You're useless. Like, seriously. You didn't tact... I don't know what you did tactically, but every manoeuvre that you've made in this situation has been absolutely shit. I... If, I if I could have planned a bigger shit, like this is shit. You couldn't even get a pregnant. Absolutely useless. I tried everything that I could to do my best and it didn't work. And I have no idea what I we can do next. What do you mean you did your best? Useless. I mean, now we're stuck in litigation. How on earth am I going to get myself out of this? Can you do any better? Well, the mess that you've created, I don't know if I could have even... If I... I don't understand. You say you did your best, but your best was probably the worst that anyone could have ever done. And now I'm stuck in litigation and I need to get myself out of this mess. So you're talking about you. What about us? We're supposed to be partners. Partners? We're not partners. I'm more concerned about myself than you. I've wasted years with you. We worked years together. We worked everything well. This one's not working. No. You're on your own. Well, all I can say is you're a cow. That's all you can come up with. I'm yeah, a cow. yeah, oh. you're a cow. I can you're think a of a lot of other words, but a cow suits you. Thank you. And if you don't like it, well, you can just get out. I will. Fuck this. Did you actually keep your brother? Yes, David. I believe you've had a meeting with... That I did. And? Well, I'm pleased to say that he's going to remove you from the movie. Completely? Completely. Mm -hmm. With conditions. And the conditions are? Not necessary for you to know, but let me just assure you that you will not be featured in the movie. Ah, you're so wicked. Who'd ever, ever think that a face like this was responsible for... Well, while we're on the subject, mm -hmm. I need to acquire the uh, certificate that... Ah, the certificate with your signature on it. The certificate with my signature on it. Mm. I need you to understand there is a lot in those books that, uh, you know, it's pretty powerful stuff. What are you going to do now? Well... You know, once we have find out what's the content of this scripted book, you know, what are we doing? We have to be very careful. It's very powerful stuff, as I said, and I think we could be in danger. <sighs> well, I'm still in the process trying to make when doves can fly as a, as a movie and I contacted the Parkinson House. What? Parkinson House. Why did Pat you... Patricia Parkinson. Why did you contact them? Well, just to make the book as a movie. Oh. What are the results of the autopsy? Yeah, the autopsy is in. So how was it? Well, I know, look, I know the thing could be a different outcome, but it's not. It's just an accident. It's one of those things. I can't believe it, Stephen. She was so scared for a life. She thought really, she had received some threats. She really thought someone was after her. Well, she must have been just so nervous that she just accidentally took too much of it. Since the last uh, book publication, Clip Twins, she, was, she became so famous again. She had a boost, you know, in her career again. I'm sure someone didn't like this this success, mainly because she disclosed uh, all the muddy events. But I'm still waiting now to know what's happening, in, what was written in this coded book. That would be another scandal, I'm sure. Yeah, my mother never sure forgot me. She said if something ever happens to her, she authorized me to disclose the coded book. And he's about to prove that. Three doctors, and here's my concern. My character's not to be tarnished in this. And I don't want anything more to come out of this. And that's where you and that administrator put right there through the lights. <laughs> oh, 
how are you progressing with um, the movie? Mm, well, look, everything's going according to plan. Um, I, I'm not too sure. I was on the set. <laughs> I've been around long enough and have produced enough movies to know what's right and what's running according to time. Which brings me to the character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's what I want to say. I don't know if someone uh, said anything or you're in touch with a, a real character from this story, but how come the whole episode of a surgeon has, mm. to, has it's vanished? It's not relevant, it's not necessary. And I don't need to explain myself to you, it's just not necessary. Yeah, but it's not up to you to decide. This is my project, and unless my we change company. the contract. It's my production company. Okay, but there is okay. nothing do, in the Do we need to... Um, Terminate the contract? Well, let me tell you something what happened. In the past, you know, when I tried to produce Days of Fever mm -hmm. uh, in France, the first chapter of um, Clipped Wings. Interested in Clipped Wings and Friends, we're now in Australia working with Parkinson House on this now movie. So, yeah, when doves can fly. Yeah, doves can fly. And as I said to you, I need that admit it. It doesn't matter whether it's real life or character. It's my production house, and at the end, my name's on it. And it's my image, and no one in this town is going to tarnish it. Here, here is the cast. Okay. Here is the cast. Here are all your characters that you've written. See? All top name actors. All secured Okay, contracts. but I haven't seen them on the set. No, well, you didn't need to see them yet. You need to trust me. I've been doing this for 30 years. Here's your cast. That is your cast, rather. Now, here are the dates. Oh, we've got six weeks to go, because when we last met, we said two months. Shooting in Rome for the next six weeks. Yeah. Okay? Then we're off to Paris. Okay, yes. So do, do I need to continue? No, but... No, thank you. I don't see any, any progression. I don't, I don't think you really moving along. Your, your, you know, your mother. That brings to my mind that... that Last chapter of the, the big saga she wanted to write, Clipped Wings. Mm. So I haven't read that book yet. We talk about that again. I haven't read about the, that book yet, but um, it would be interesting. I'd like to do to include it in the production once I, I read it mm -hmm. and I see its relevance. Um, this next book, any idea, content, characters? Not at all. She was quite mysterious about it because I remember a year, a year and a half ago she talked about it. And she said she wants to finish the saga with this last chapter, Clipped Wings. Mm. And, uh, but she didn't know how to go about it because mm. she thought she could hurt a few people. My God! It looks like David Merkinov. Is he going to see Patricia? Well, gosh, where do I start? Yes. Days of Fever. There's mm -hmm. two versions. A chapter that reveals my past. And this has just come out. Mm. It's the chapter that can't come out, David. The last chapter. I don't think you realise the magnitude. I'd be over. You think highly of me, don't you? No matter what I tell you. Well, I try to. <laughs> Try to. Well, I think I have your respect as a businesswoman. Of course. No matter without dealings. Mm -hmm. David, um, um... Yes? I was a prostitute. Well, I'm not entirely sure. But let me just say that based on previous publications, great chance, it just makes perfect sense. It'll destroy me, David. In what way? It's what I've kept a secret. It's what keeps me going. You're the only one in the world that knows I was a prostitute. Look, to have Patricia Parkinson a prostitute is one thing. But you don't know the whole of it, David. David. Come on. I abandoned my baby. And I live with that every single day of my life. There's not a day that goes by that I don't think is that child suffering is it looked after. A prostitute is one thing, but to abandon your life 
a life that I gave and nurtured for nine months. It'll destroy me, David. It'll be the end of me. David. You bitch. David. I have lost everything and it's all your fault. <laughs> Robert, it's yes, Patricia. Yep, all done. Yep, send, send the boys. Yep, the ones in the white coats. My work is done. Yep, excellent. I've survived another day. Thank you. Thank you so much. And it's paranoia. It's bipolar. It's schizophrenia. And probably a good dose of the clap thrown in as well. And you know, you know who put you here? That wonderful the, man that you thought that you were going to... Your one night stand with? That, that was going to... Yes. The administrator. You thought yeah. you'd fuck your way into a house into a with house. him. And didn't that go and that's sadly wrong? He wouldn't do that to me. Oh, yes, oh, he, he was. Has. He has, he has. Now you can bonk each other silly in here. Ha, 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 ha. Goodbye, you my love. You wouldn't do that oh, to me. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, we would. Yes. Just watch us. The administrator can bonk you silly whenever he wants to, but you ain't coming near me. I, I don't think he will, because I think he thinks you're pathetic. Yes, absolutely. Goodbye. <laughs> that bloody Patricia Parkinson. That's who did it to me. I remember now the syringe. Yes. Maybe I am crazy. <laughs> to get rid of the bastard, and I did. I came here that day, and he was he was sitting around like a wood thing that he was, and I was just so disgusted with him, and so always, always, always giving me trouble. He was after all, the cottage all his life. Always wanting that cottage. I don't really know what what was so special about it. Um, always wanting whatever I had, always wanting to be the favourite with my mother, with mother, all of that. That was my opportunity. I shot him and I just made it look like a, a, a suicide and I closed it, that chapter forever. How do you like the new fireplace? You get Very a lot nice of, indeed. You get a lot of heat out of there. Put your hand over there and have a look. It's just oh, lovely. Yeah. Lovely in winter. Yeah. Listen, David, you're my brother. Um, We've got to do better. This fighting and competition all the time is not good. We've got to think of our kids. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree, but I agree with you it's not good enough and we have to try a lot harder to stop this bickering and fighting and rivalry between us and do what's right for the rest of the family. They must be looking at us thinking it's all hopeless. It's all about family. I've been looking after the family all these years, as you know. Well, if you didn't exile me, I'd be still part of the family and none of this would be going on. But that's the sort of thing I'm talking about. Exactly. What we've got to do is to work together now. The kids and the family are very important. Yeah, when we were kids it was much better. I remember the father took us to uh, Polynesia and had a fabulous time. And there was none of this problem going on. So, I don't know where we've gone wrong, but, yeah, as I said before, for the sake of the family, we just have to try harder, um, for everybody's sake. I agree. Oh, hello, Hank. It's nice to see you. What brings you to Purple Grow? Yes, lovely to see you as well, my dear. Um, I don't have much occasion to come to Purple Grove, but I thought it was time I checked out Sharon's last resting place. Have a look where her last remains are. Yes, I went and had a little pray in church for Sharon because the way things were with her, you know. Yes, it's so very sad, such a young death. Tragic. 
Have you heard from Tina at all? Ah, yes, I've heard from Tina. She's having a wonderful time. I knew there was no chance of that working with Nick. I mean, hopeless, hopeless. Why on earth she ever started God only knows. So yeah, look, I still sort of keep in touch. And It's funny, I was just thinking of coming to visit you. And you're welcome any time. But I didn't think you had much time. I thought you were making all those beads and necklaces and all that rubbish. And um, you were quite involved in the whole machinations of Purple Grove. I have to tell you the good news about my jewellery, but first I'd like to know what chapter in your life are you going to close this time? Well, I came actually to um, go to the police to turn myself in um, and confess to the murder of my brother. It's good. Don't mind the game. Oh, it's a good view from up here. Mm. Listen, uh, Sebastian, I think it would be a good idea for you to... Um, support what I said before, just to give you an update, the East Wing, we're now completed level one, uh, and construction is going on time. I think it'll be a big, big um, difference if you think about what your mother and what we're doing at East Wings, if you support me and let us work together to establish this. And go against my dad. I think it'll be very good for the family. You know I cannot go against my dad. You kick him out of the town more than 20 years ago. He needs support, he needs his place in this family, right? Don't you want your brother by your side? I do, and I've spoken to him about trying to work together, but listen here. You remember what I have done all these years for this family. I've looked after everybody and tried to address everyone's needs. This family will survive like I said before. And that's the reason you need to support such a project. I have to put a caveat to that. I'm not too sure yet, you know, what's, what's the best and what men would have liked and all that. But, yeah, we see. Anyway, did you know about, you know, David Meckenhoff, I mean, it's terrible, you know. I was with him a few, a few days ago at the lake's house and to find out that he is dead. It's a shock, but these things happen, but it doesn't mean now we have to go backwards. We need to go forward and remain positive. And I wonder what happened with him. I know he was... Did you have some dealings with him, with David Meckenhoff? Yes, I did. Yeah. And he was, initially, he was in Parkinson House, you know. I think they stole it with Patricia Parkinson. They stole it from Ma'am and Claire. You know, there, there's things that undercover we're not sure. And probably they'll be disclosed in this book that Mom has written. So, what do you intend to do about the book? Well, I'm not decided yet, you know, and I know Nina wants me to um, publish it at Parkinson House, which is what Mum wanted, but is it going to create more animosity than anything else, you know? You and Claire seem very keen to know what is in this book, but I'm not too in a rush. The question will have to be, is it going to harm this family? Even more. I haven't had a honeymoon yet. I know. And don't, don't think it's not worrying me, but our family's in chaos. Even our wedding it was just a minister in half an hour. You yeah. know, that was nothing. Bit of a wham bam, thank you, ma'am, itself. But you know, our family's fighting over the heritage, you know. Brother and I are at loggerheads, but we need to get that book published and get Seb on side to get it published by Parkinson's yeah. ASAP. Yeah. I want to find out what's written in that book. Yeah, so the wedding plans are going well. Uh, the invitations are done and I've still just got to uh, pick uh, stuff for catering and yeah, it's going well. But, you know, I just wish there wasn't this conflict in the family, you know. It's such a happy time for me and you, Nina and Dave, that I just wish you could all be on the same page. Look, 
The big thing is Sebastian. Why did he keep the book? He should have returned the book to us, our family. Well, it was Mum's wishes for it to be published. He's just he's just going with what her wishes were. He doesn't realise the damage it could do to Purple Grove. All in uh, oil factory. Uh, keep giving the book to Nina is ridiculous. I don't know. It was Mum's wishes. He's he's trying to do the right thing. So have you seen them? Yeah, they're not there. I don't know what's going what? on. The place is empty. They're gone. Who? Um, um, Jose oh. and Claire. Really? Yeah, I just, I just went past and there's not what. Everything's just gone. Well, you didn't see that coming? No, not at all. I mean, look, I, I, I know he'd been really sick and I don't think it was good. I think it was terminal. Um, so he had a... Not a lot of time left. He did mention to me briefly that he he wanted to find a solution um, or get a cure, even if it meant going overseas. So maybe that's where they've gone. So they just disappeared like this? Yeah. yeah. With his wife, so I guess that... The place is empty. Mm -hmm. Hey, something I want to ask you. Do you think our family can move forward in collectively as one big family, set all the dramas aside? You and I will never change, mm. right? We've always been a family. Even if you said to me that we didn't spend much time together, it's true. When I was traveling to France and tried to sort out the hotel, I didn't spend much time with you. But we are a family. Your dad is there. My dad is there. At Purple Grove. We just need to find a way to live together. Yeah. For the same reason. Well, I've just been thinking a lot about Mum lately and what she would want. And I know she, she wouldn't want all these dramas. That's for sure. Mm. I just don't know how we can move forward. Do you think, is it because Claire is back and she reminds us so much of Mum? Mm. I mean, obviously a twin sister. Yeah. We would see Mum pretty mm. much mm. all the time, constantly in her. It could be that. We, we never know if they really got along before was under the impression that she don't get along, never got along. Mm. They were still sisters though. Yes, to answer your question, I think we can be a family, it's all what we make it. And it's in here. It's entirely up to us. And probably up to you and I to drive it, you know. It took me a while to overcome Sharon's death but now you know and Sean told me yeah my life is ahead of me and I need now to to do something different and have a, a different life you know and we need to keep the unity of our family mm -hmm. for sure and it will be driven by you and I yes big sis little bro hey hey what do you reckon about Hank being in jail? Well, to be honest, um, I'm worried about uh, Alavira. Oh, yeah. It's a big uh, pressure on her, and I don't think it's a good thing. Why do you think I've been um, trying to prevent her getting mm -hmm. all concerned and worried? I don't want her in a traumatic state. No, well, I'm wondering if we can do anything to maybe help him get out of jail. And if he does get out, he can take Sis out to Orange. Well, can I say, great minds think alike. Yeah, well, you've taught me a lot. And I think that we could be able to move. What do you think? Do you think we could do something to get him out? Look, um, I think we could. Let me say I'm surprised. 
that uh, you're taking this uh, stance, considering Hank was the one who helped me exile you in the first place. Yeah, well, you know, bro, um, the past is the past. You can't undo it, but we can only look forward to the future. So what's done is done, as far as I'm concerned. And, you know, if we can get on together and help Hank get out of jail, um, we can move the family forward. You know, it's like Justine, I mean, I was so, it was so difficult to announce over the phone that his mother passed away. You know, already we had this, this breakup when he decided to go back to England and now to announce that Sharon has gone, it was so tough, Nina. Yes, but I, I, I think it's for the best that he stays with his stepfather, you know, because um, he brought him up with Sharon over there, and um, I don't think that's good for him to move. It's better he stays there. I know it's going to be hard on you, but... Um, well, I don't even know if I wanted him to move back here. What for? He didn't like it initially. Yeah. You know, his granddad just wants him to to inherit the olive oil factory, but he doesn't want it. He's no. too young to love it, to be attached to the to the roots of his family. That's You're probably right. He should stay in UK, but it was so heartfelt to I know, I know. tell him very hard. So between mothers and sons, I think we should um, think about publishing your mother's book. She would have wanted that and to honour her memory. I'm just not quite decided on the, what I'm going to do with this book. I know it was a wish. Uh, I don't know. We have to go down that way. What is it going to unravel? What are we going to learn from this book? But she would have wanted it, so really think about that. Well, we need to publish that book through Parkinson's because that was the company your mother started, and that's the best one to do the book through. Make sure that the uh, roof installation is in. Uh, point two. Make sure the hydrotherapy pool has also started. Hi. G'day. Uh, you might like to know we've lost a, you've lost a key partner with David Merkenhoff dead. Well, these are tragedies. They happen all the time. Mm. Works out in your favour. Fair? Uh? Yeah. Well, with Merkenhoff gone, um, you got the Grundies gone, David yeah. gone. Um, it works in your favour because who else can now incriminate you? Hmm, I suppose that's a point. Yeah. Incriminate me for what? Do I really have to refresh your memory? Yeah. CCTV does not lie. Closed circuit television does not lie. What closed circuit TV? You were there, filmed in the bar in Germany with Alex, Penelope's brother, and you fed him alcohol one after the other. You got him drunk with deliberate purpose. Who? What CCTV and who took the film? The Grundys have it. Right. And the point is, I am the only one that can actually save you from going to jail. Ah, oh, here we go again. We were supposed to be getting on famously together, or for the sake of the family, and now here you are, trying to rake up old coals again. Well, I'm not happy about that. Well, I'm the only one that can save you. The others aren't here. So what are you saving me from? Ah, going to jail. I think she would have liked to see the, the, the two of us together. I think so. I think yeah. she... She would have liked to have seen us reconciled. Um, yeah, I mean, she relied heavily on you back the time when you were the operations manager at the Grove, so... Yeah, no doubt. She would like that. Yeah. Oh, do you mind if I get this? Yeah. Hello?
Oh. I'll see. Okay. I'll, I'll be there shortly. Is there a problem? It's the, the trees of the olive grove. Some of them have, uh, they're sick, they've got some disease from the shore, and some of the trees are rotting, they're dying. Did they just notice that now? Yeah. Okay, let's go, let's have a look. It might be more bigger than we think. There's a uh, overview of what the east wing will look like. Mm. Have a look now. We're now turning to level one. Yep. Good use of the storage space there. Yes, now mm. it's come good, especially with the landscaping and the extra trees. Mm. And that we can have the hydrotherapy pools on that level too. Yes. Mm. It's looking good. But look, I. Are you sure it'll be as okay in a penthouse like a purple grove? For goodness sake, Deb. Yes, she's fine. She's not being held against her will. She's not being held as a prisoner. She's free to go in and out. She's going to be okay. The way I see it, this is her protection. I believe that she has accepted that. So that's the situation there. Later on, she could also open up a retail outlet. She could sell her products online. There's a multitude of potential there. So I wouldn't say there's anything to worry about there. I can't believe you have to shut down the, the olive grove. How, how, we go, how are you going? Uh, well, we're still waiting for the, um, the analysis down in South Australia. Uh, the contamination rumours, we just need to bed this down as soon as possible so hopefully the results come out positive for us and that we can go back to the media. That Quite strange, it's just our section, you know, and not the, the surrounding one. It's someone who hates us who did, did that. Our name is, uh, is impacted in that. I want Hank out of jail. That's it. Why do you want Hank out of jail? You know he's a murderer. It wasn't a murder, it's self-defence. He killed David. Simple manslaughter. The situation is this murder and manslaughter. Look, Jeff, you want him out of jail? I'm sure we know somebody who can get him out of jail. But what's in your head? I want Alvira to link up with Hank again and go back to Orange, get her out of the picture. I see. Well, I'm sure you could do that. I have enough dirt on David to get Hank out of jail. But Jeff, to be honest with you, I don't know, man. I don't know how long I can do this for you. What did you say? We'll get him out of jail.